Hi everybody. In this video, uh, I have received, so at this point, I have received the Garmin GEA 24 unit. I think that stands for Garmin Engine Analyzer. Uh, probably does. Anyway, that's what all of your uh, systems will be plugged in from your engine, you know, exhaust gas, cylinder head temperature, etc., and shown on your G3X display. So, in this video, we're just plugging it into the CAN bus, firing it up, and doing the initial configuration in settings so that the engine information shows up on the screen. Uh, you just set up as much as you can. It doesn't matter which sensors you pick. So basically you're like, hey, show, give me an exhaust gas temperature. Okay, uh, what's your sensor? Right, and it asks you for sensor. Just, just pick one. Right, it doesn't matter if you get the right one. Just pick the very first one. It's probably the most common. Then you can set up all your zones for it. So for like EGT, anything under, you know, 1100 is cold, so that's all white. And then, so 1100 to 1500 or whatever it is, that'll be green. And then above that's red. You can set all these different things. You can set alarms, etc. <clears throat> it's really, it's really robust. The only thing, the only thing I wish is that Garmin had some kind of default airplane profile they probably do I probably just missed it something you can load onto an SD card and be like you know what Up upload that these will be my engine specs I mean I can go back and, f and tweak it later but you're gonna see me doing that for the rest of the video uh, so with that said I got some it's time for Q&A uh, let's see uh, buddy Paul has some questions Paul always has questions he loves my videos and he's like hey can you talk about this can you talk about this Paul's a nice man. Paul's been with his company forever. Paul has the clout to give himself his own title. That's right, Mr. Top Gun. Although I find it funny. Oh, real quick diversion. So, it's rainy season here in San Francisco, and since I can't move that fuselage anywhere, and there's starting to be electrical bits, behold the tarp. Okay, so, Paul's question. Uh, can you talk about Lycoming, the 10-month lead, etc.? Okay, good question. Uh, superior engines had to buy back all their engines, so everyone that had one of those had to go to Lycoming and be like, hey, I need an engine stat. So it has driven their lead times up to about 10 months. Uh, 10 months plus. Uh, how am I dealing with this? I'm not using Lycoming. So despite the fact that Vans has an OEM licensing agreement with Lycoming that allows you to buy an engine at their rate, or one engine per plane at their rate, I'm not exercising that. Uh, yet. I'm keeping that in reserve. So what I'm actually doing is I'm using a company, I'm using a different company, I'm not going to say who, but let's just say that uh, it's it's a brand new, it's people I just started talking to last week, actually it's uh, brand new, and their lead time is much less. Now that the, the, the cost is negligibly different, um, it's got a better warranty. It's like homing, those experimental engines come with a one year warranty, this one comes with three. Uh, plus a few other things. So I'm not going with Lycoming. I'm going to put that in my pocket so the next time, God forbid, if I need a new engine, I've got it on my own. Okay, so here is, there's the main screen. So there's the PF, there's PFD mode, and you can see the engine instruments on the left, and that's with the engine uh, window open. So, of course, most of them are, are X'd out because we're not, you know, we have no cylinder head temperature. Though it's weird. One of the sensors says that the third cylinder is at 375 degrees, which is amazing that that's happening. <clears throat> Let's see. Any other questions? Let's see. Anything else? So, yeah, it's the holiday season. It's probably New Year's by now. Just had my office party last night. I had my wife's office party and my office party in, in, the, in the same night. Um, oh, wow, what a night. I'm at my wife's office party. I'm like, okay, I can't really eat that much because I got mine next. So I'm just going to have like one or two little bites. I'll have one drink and I'll have just like some sparkling water for the rest of the night. Behave myself. And then they brought out the scallops the size of your kneecaps. I'm like, okay, I'll just have one scallop. One turn into, well, let me be honest, ten. So, yeah, love the holidays. <clears throat> okay, in the next video, we're going to be back on the roll bar. Uh, working on the roll bar and all of that and whatever else we can find to fix while we're waiting on the finishing kit. So, thank you for joining me, and we'll see you soon.